15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence start. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and wow, right here live on Third Phase of Moon, taking your calls from around the world in regards to the UFO phenomenon. If you have a story and want to report it live, you can call into 347 934 0378. We're going live to the phone calls right now, taking your reports. Welcome 206 to Third Phase of Moon. Do you have a report you'd like to share? Yes, I do. I'd Can love to share. Great. What location are you calling from? And uh, describe the sightings that you've had. I uh, I live in Linwood, Washington. It's just uh, north of Seattle, Washington. Uh, probably 20 minutes north. Um, the report that I have, uh, for the past two, three months, I have witnessed various uh, shapes and sizes of, uh, well, your typical UFO until recently the other night when I saw eight non-typical UFO. But uh, I would like to first uh, start off with the ones that uh, look typical. What I have witnessed is probably about six, seven, eight, different size um, flying saucer type devices and these uh, range in size from 20 feet to probably about mm, 100 foot in diameter and they actually blend in with the trees so well it's almost like a reflective material on them or something but they have a pattern of branches painted on them that make them even blend in better. These have windows. Um, these have lights. Let me get this straight. You're saying the the UFO craft have paintings of actual trees upon them and on the surface to kind of blend in with the trees in your surrounding area? And go I, on. I would I would say not trees. I'd say tree branches. In that case, also on step by, we're taking calls, area code 937. Welcome to Third Phase Moon. You're live on Third Phase. Hi, sir. My name is Josh. I live in Wilmington, Ohio. We had just seen a, a big bright light from south to north about 35 to 40 seconds of a minute that went like five different colors and no sound, pulsating, went straight across the sky, not down. I've done reported to the police station. And we're in Wilmington, Ohio. We've been trying to get all the Rack Pass Air Force Base, Airborne Base. Nobody won't tell us nothing. They said maybe a meteor shower, but we know damn well we all about fell to the ground. We was expecting a dang airplane crash. It was something. And and it went from the right to the left, which was south to north. And it was so bright that it just lit up the whole sky. And my neighbors seen it, they seen it, but nobody's even caring about it, so we want to report it and get it investigated. And this is Wilmington, Ohio. Wow, can you tell us? This is quite amazing. And, so, yeah, so was, this, was, this was a pulsating, pulsating, big, fall-type circle thing. Okay, We're I want to ask you. The information is coming in real quick, coming in, this breaking news, and it sounds like it's ongoing right now. We want to have everybody having their cameras ready, having it, you know, we want to get video of this event. If anybody's seen this, report it to us right here at Third Phase Moon Live. We're here at 347-934-0378. Call it in. 937, I wanted to ask you, can you tell us, did you videotape the phenomenon? No, sir, we did not. We were all sitting on the porch, and it just... We were just sitting here, and it was so bright, we thought it was an airplane crash. Lightning. We didn't have enough time to all our phones were in our pockets. And it just, we thought it was lighting in the middle of the night with no storm. And then we all jumped down, we thought it was an airplane crash. Because we got an Air Force base on the other side, and then we, well, not an Air Force base, but an air, airplane place here. And they're denying, they won't answer the phone, they're saying nothing's going on. Well, we know dang well what we just seen. We saw two tanks pass by. And then after that, two big jets came around and did a bunch of circles, and we don't even have jets around here. Okay, I want to get the details out. I want to ask you, again, exactly what happened and what time it was in the exact area, and tell me more about the military jets that came in shortly after this. Go ahead, Nike. It was about 11.30-ish, 11.32, 
because I've been trying to get a hold of NASA and everybody to see what happened because we, it, in case it was an airplane crash. Or a That's how bright it was. Or a meteor. We don't know. But it didn't come from up to down. It went from side to across. And it was so bright. It pulsated. It was so many colors. It blinded my eyes just about. But I was still able to see it. It kind of looked like a boomerang type of thing. It didn't look like a round ball or anything. It looked like a boomerang, really. It was only like 30 seconds. It was so bright, everyone like ducked and held their head because we thought it was an airplane crash. But the weird thing was, there was no sound. Period. Now, within like one minute, two big jets are flying around doing big circles. Plus, we thought it was coming. Yeah, that's what we thought was coming in, and they had big lights and they're looking around, and no one's saying nothing. The police stations ain't saying nothing that they were going to check in on it, check in on it. Something just happened, and we're positive. What? Where are my kids? Absolutely incredible. Well, let's get some of the other eyewitnesses on Third Phase Moon Radio right now, live, 937. Some of the other eyewitness testimonies. May we speak with them right now? Yeah, I got my neighbors here. That's across the street. They're crying. Do you want to talk to a few of those? Certainly, please. The, the more, sure. uh, hey, the more testimony, that's how we, uh, hey, we talk what to them. It. Will you tell them what you saw, too? Yeah. All right, here you go. Hello? Hello, welcome to Third Phase Moon. Who am I speaking with? And he can can you tell us the closest city in your area when this uh you know, the other people the biggest city in your area that might have seen the same event and can you explain to us what you saw? Well, um, the closest city uh, would be uh, 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 be Dayton. And uh we're just sitting outside and um what all big I city I miss the big city be Dayton, Ohio or Cincinnati. We live in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. We're in Clayton County. We're in Clayton County, sir, and uh, all I seen was the sky. It was just lit up, and I ducked. That's all I really saw. I didn't get to the jump as he did. All I know is like a plane was happening. Are we partying? Are we partying there? So, well, yeah. Yeah, we're not partying, so somehow. Yeah, everybody. Everybody okay, here well, that. It, it sounds it's like an event really happened in Dayton, Ohio. Mass witnesses are witnessing something big that happened just earlier this evening. And if anybody's captured anything amazing, send it to Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. We're live right now on the radio. We're going back to Dayton, Ohio, and getting more eyewitness testimony. Tell me about the military jets that flew by immediately after this event. Well, when I see them flew by like trees horizons. First it looked like a saucer, and then it started flashing uh, red lights, and uh, it was blue and white. At first, it looked like just one bright light, and another one came shortly, like ten minutes afterwards, and went the opposite way. But neither one of them, neither one of the planes went the same way that same way. They just said circles, like the residue, and now they're gone. This is what I want to ask one person at a time over there, and let me start with you first. What did you okay, think? Okay. What did you think about the UFO phenomenon before tonight? Uh. I, I didn't know what to think about it, and I know I never see it again. It was so bright, kind of blinded me, and I ducked. I looked for light. This is what happened. Look. I just looked for light, and I just ducked. Whoop! The heck, man! You know? Duck. Well, let's get the you know, female eyewitness testimony from on location over there. If you could get her on the phone, that would be amazing. You want to hear you? Here she is. Yeah. Yeah, Welcome to Third Phase I wanted to ask you what you saw tonight in your area and what did you think you were witnessing? Um, all I seen was a big, like, bright light, like, red and blue, and it kind of scares me all up, and that's the last thing I've seen of it. Were, were you, uh, in your own way, when you are witnessing this phenomenon, concerned for your safety at all? Yeah. And the people around you, did they feel the same way? That Was there like a little bit of shock and awe? Did you think this was some kind of, I heard earlier, is described like you may have thought it was a possible plane crash? Possibly. We don't know if it was a plane or what it, what it was. No, it was no damn plane. Is there, like a plane? That, is there anybody... Possibly over there right now that could do some recon in the area, possibly seeing if there's any downed aircraft at the time, because this could be breaking news of a, a mass UFO crash and seen by the public. 
don't know if it was a UFC crash or what, but I know I just seen it, and it was really bad. That's all I've seen of it. Well, if anybody, and you and your friends could maybe ask your friends, and maybe by tomorrow getting the word out right here through Third Phase of Moon, we could find some videotape of this event, and maybe people in your area definitely get this word out, because I'm pretty sure with everybody having their phones on, and, you know, people have cameras with them and their eyes on the skies at all times, it might be a good idea to do some uh, recon just with your neighbors and find out if there's any videotape recovered and shot this uh, incredible event you guys experienced. This is quite incredible. Now we're going to bring in Eric Clute 206, bring him back into the show of what he just heard, breaking news right here at Third Phase Moon, an incredible event that happened over Dayton, Ohio. What did you think about that? Oh, we're going back to 937. Go ahead. Hi, sir. Um, my, what, what, what we're seeing was so fast that we're talking, there was no time to get a camera or a phone. You, you couldn't even probably took a picture of it. All you were seeing is a flash. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was so fast. It ain't no damn airplane. I've been around airplanes my whole life. I live by an air, an air base. I, you know, I live by right at Air Force Base. It's just 30 miles up the road. I, it, no one's saying nothing. No one's claiming it. They're not saying it was there, and they're not saying it ain't. So I don't know what's going on. They won't tell me anything. And, and we've seen them. Uh, and then the cops keep driving up and down the road. We don't even know what, what's going on. But whatever it was, it's not a crash. No cops going, no sirens. Something was flying through the dang sky so freaking fast. Um, I'm just maybe you can ask somebody with radar or skywatch to at least check into a recording over this part of the, you know, of Ohio. And I got the time limit. It was within, you know, at least 11:31 to 11:33. I swear this is worth looking into because I guarantee you're going to find a recording of this thing flying across the sky. Best footage you ever have. You can get. I guarantee it's the best footage that will ever be put on if you just catch it. I'm telling you. Wow, this is uh, absolutely amazing, and we're, um, you know, running Breaking News Live. What I want you to do is get a contact through us via Skype or Facebook, Third Phase of Moon, and say that you're the ones that called about the Dayton, Ohio massive sighting, and we want to follow up on this. We're going to get the word out. We will get the video and videos, I'm sure. So Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. We really want to follow up on what. Yeah. Because if it was an alien or something, I do want to know because I want to know if they really exist. But if it was a crash, I also want to know that. If it was a meteor, I want to know that. I just want to know what the hell it was. Get the shit out of me, bro. I don't care either. I'll try to cut What we want you to do is when you concentrate on the moon, write exactly what you said, the exact time, date, your exact location, and we will be getting okay. follow-ups on this. All right. We're, we're in Clayton County, Ohio, which is the city of Wilmington. Clayton County, Ohio, city of Wilmington, in between Cincinnati and Dayton, Ohio. Uh, and uh, it was in the right over top of the city of Wilmington, Ohio. Air, and the biggest air, air base here was called Airborne. It's still here. There's an air place, base over here. So it went south to north. Within, It was less than like 30, maybe 35, 33 seconds. I mean... That's just a guess. Yeah, it was that down. quick. Yeah, That's the time frame. So I know it was between 11.30 and 11.32, in between there somewhere. Because I've been trying to call NASA. Nobody won't answer. Everybody gives me to run around. Nobody won't. They keep saying me to ride or something like that. And nobody won't even tell me if it was or if it wasn't. I don't, I mean, I well, don't even we know. Third, we at Third Phase, we're going to appreciate your call and uh, going out of your way to get the word out. And with all your you know, going through these hurdles, finding these brick walls that you come against with NASA, that they're not going to answer anything that anything that you're wanting to find out. And what? let me ask you, did you call the police? Did they have anything to say? Eric Code 937, you there? Only thing that they're uh, telling me. Pardon me, we missed uh, you on that one. The uh, Wilmington Police Department... Had already had a call and they're checking into it now. They oh, said they don't know if it's a media shower or not, but I'm pretty sure media showers usually are recorded or free uh, on their way. 
and it don't come from side to side, and it usually comes down. I've seen them before. I've seen fallen stars. I've seen all of it. I, pretty much. I'm not a professional, but I'm telling you what I've seen wasn't natural, man. I'm just telling you. It was different colors. It was something out. It was something weird. I just and the cops are just like circling like crazy within these certain blocks here. They're still doing it. See, look. Well, we at Third Phase Moon, we're already having correspondents in your area and right here to find out, and they're calling in right now to the police stations and in your area to see if there's anything so we could collaborate what you just said with all your eyewitness testimony and the police already admitted that there's callers uh, describing the same thing and they're going to follow up and see what's going on. Wow, something just happened, and uh, I think it's going to be making breaking news right here at Third Phase Moon. I really appreciate your report calling in. Wow, what an incredible Incredible show we just had, and I know we were the first ones to break it. It sounded like breaking news. They came against walls. They were trying to find out any way they could put the word out, and they came to the right place. Third Phase of Moon is a place to do it. But if anybody out there has captured what they saw in Dayton, Ohio, in that area, be sure to contact us. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see everybody again next time. Now to Truth Seeker. When it comes to the truth, I seek it. When it comes to the truth, I speak it. Get it on tape and reveal it. Don't fear it. So now that it ain't no secrets. Though the skeptics, they keep laughing. Get it out there to the masses. Spaceships and crowds are passing through the night sky. Bright lights are flashing. UFOs, they above my house. And the sentiment thoughts, I'm telepathic. Frequently get frequencies from outer space. Intergalactic, we bring that right knowledge. But most of the people confused. We see it in sacred silence. So practice proof. To the skies we're paying homage The Elohim returning soon I'm chilling with Blake Cousins In the third phase of the moon I'm chilling with Blake Cousins In the third phase of the moon Apart at the time, and each one of them say they saw the UFO explode over the mountains in Utah.